all about Scorpio part 22. Yep, it's been a long time, I know. And I want to thank Joshua, okay, um, <laughs> Joshua from US, and I appreciate you tapping my back and reminding me that I should post another topic about Scorpios and <laughs> it was like hey where are you know the Scorpio vids we need one um, I know it's been a long time I haven't been posting um, about Scorpios lately and most of the stuffs that I've been posting are actually you know random stuffs actually especially um, uh, videos of the dishes that I've been cooking because I'm into cooking lately I mean that's one of my hobbies lately um, I think uh, it has been more than a year that I've been trying to learn how to cook, especially Filipino dishes. So that's what I've been doing so far lately. And I've been busy with work and other things. But yeah, thank you, Josh, for notifying me and for reminding me about that. So um, before we start, um, I'd like to also um, share one thing and um, I actually i would appreciate it if you guys can also leave me some comments i'm most of the videos that have been uploading especially all about scorpio audio recordings um the comments for for, for for those videos are actually disabled right but for this one i'm i'm gonna give you guys an opportunity to just share your inputs and just let me know um if there are other topics that you would like as well to see or to talk about or um yeah some topics that you would like us to discuss again I'm not basing this off like um, I'm not an astrologer um, and I'm basing this off actually from personal experience as a Scorpio and I'm usually reading off some comments or some articles off from the website or it could be a book that I read about Scorpios or zodiac signs but I definitely you know don't own the credit I don't um, claim it to be mine but I would definitely share my inputs about it okay and I usually do that I would usually um, give you guys the name of the website or the URL or whatever or whoever wrote that um, because I don't own that or I cannot claim it as mine but what I normally do is I actually just share my own inputs because I'm also a Scorpio so I'm also trying to do some research just like you guys I'm pretty sure um, the reason why you guys also try to listen to the recordings that I've been posting is because you're 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 trying to warm out some information right whether it's your Scorpio boyfriend or whether you are a Scorpio yourself trying to um, do some research about um, zodiac signs or Scorpio um, or whatever so I hope this helped you guys a lot um, but the thing that I can really just do is to just share my inputs as a Scorpio but um, definitely even for today the topic for today we're going to read off um, some some topics or some comments from taken from other websites out there even Pinterest and then we'll talk about it okay and I'll share you as well what do I think about it as a Scorpio but again not all Scorpios are one and the same and remember there are three types of Scorpios there's a scorpion or the lizard there's eagle there's a phoenix you know or I think um, the dove as they call it but um, I hope this one would definitely you know give you enough information somehow um, about um, general stuff about Scorpios okay and um, the topic for today by the way for all about Scorpio part 22 it's about fear all right so we wanted to know I wanted to know as well what's Scorpio's biggest fear and um, when I did my research I was surprised because it matched my own fear and I'm not going to lie about that. I'm going to be very, very open about that. Most Scorpios doesn't want that because the most mysterious sign of the zodiac, it will be zodiac, it will be the Scorpio. And I'm pretty sure you Scorpios out there would definitely agree. But um, I'm not going to lie about the fear and all that. I mean, it's okay. I would definitely acknowledge that. Um, but before we start, um, I'm going to share this one topic 
and it's not just focused on Scorpio alone, but of course, it's about the biggest fear of each zodiac sign. All right, that's going to be a really cool one. We'll go through that first, and then we'll focus on Scorpios. All right, and you'll be surprised because each of the you know um, the articles, um, um, the topics, or whatever um, that I've actually checked out from different websites out there, um, they share the same stuff about Scorpio's biggest fear. Okay, so let's start with this one first. Um, it's the biggest fear of each zodiac sign. And by the way, like what I've mentioned before, um, this is originally from Zodiac Fire. You can go to um, zodiacfire.com, HTTPS, of course, zodiacfire.com. And then you may check out, you know, what's what's the biggest fear of each zodiac sign? All right, we'll start first, and I'm not gonna read entirely, you know, it's gonna take a lot of time, eat up some time. But let's start off first with um, Aries, okay? And this is interesting because I've also, you know, um, I'm really more about if you, of course, it's all about Scorpio, but I'm also trying to do some research on, on every zodiac sign. The only thing is I'm not really familiar with moon sign, rising sign. It's mostly just general stuff. And what I'm really interested at is, you know, the accuracy of each zodiac sign's personality. And I've done some test myself like that's why every people that i you know um bump into like i mean not really like every each person that i bump into but most of the people that i you know acquaintances or the people like coworkers or colleagues or friends out there i try to ask them the one question that i would always ask them what when is your birthday and then after learning their birthday oh so you're an aries or oh so you're um, an aquarian you know things like that so it gives me some sort of like an idea and then i'm just gonna try to test them and you know try to observe if all of this information that i wormed out from you know my research about each zodiac signs personalities will match and i tell you there's definitely um, some truth in it, you know, at least 90% or 80% accuracy. That's what I'm really um, into. Um, and I'm not sure if you guys listening to this audio recording also did the same thing or if you agree to it, but definitely what I can say in my personal experience and based on my own research is that there is definitely um, an accuracy in terms of um, the things that you've been seeing about each zodiac sign's personalities and you can do your test yourself you know um some people they laugh at me you know they were like oh okay so rye would definitely ask you oh, when is your birthday and you know because that that's one of the first few questions i would ask every new people that i'm gonna meet you know and then i'm gonna observe them and i'm gonna you know without really just telling them um outright i'm just gonna do some research first and observations and then I tell you, 95% it's accurate. You know, most of the time it's really, really accurate unless there's an affliction of other sun signs. Anyway, see, um, I need to cut myself there. <laughs> I'm such a blabbermouth. Okay, because I miss you guys. I haven't, you know, been posting recordings about Scorpios lately. But again, we'll start off first with the biggest fear of each zodiac sign. All right, and we'll start off first with Aries. Okay, for Aries, it says here fears of being forgotten or going unnoticed. Do you agree with that? Is that really, you know, for Aries people out there, is that your biggest fear? You fear of being forgotten or going unnoticed? Okay, it says here, Aries sets out to make a big impact, and as a result, one of their biggest inner fears is simply failing to make the kind of mark on the world that they envision for themselves. They have a strong desire to leave a legacy, and the idea that their accomplishments and achievements might one day be forgotten is one that can keep them awake at night. Okay. I don't know. I, I can't comment on that one. Honestly, I'll be very blunt with you. Um, I really do not know. So um, that's quite interesting that one of the biggest fears of Aries people um, is being forgotten. But I noticed I, I, I met a lot of um, Aries people. And there's this one thing that I notice about Aries. Um, they're born, natural born leaders. 
They're very aggressive. They're very aggressive and they're great leaders actually. And um, the one thing I also notice is the control thing. Although they say that the most controlling zodiac signs are Scorpios, Leos, or um, Aries as well. But I noticed there's this one person that I know who's also an Aries um, who lost their um, sense of control and uh, that person just suddenly, you know, um, filed for resignation or they went nuts. At, she, she or he went nuts, okay? So, yeah, something like that. But about being forgotten, um, that's interesting. So you guys don't want to be forgotten or, you know, or it says here you don't want to be unnoticed okay so the next sign let's move on to the next sign. we we, we can't spend too much time here because we're going to focus more of more in this scorpio fear um taurus it says here taurus fears unexpected change but there's this other um um what do you call this there's this other um website as well that talks about the secret fear of each zodiac sign okay um before we move to taurus i think it's best that i ch check out this other other website and this one is by elitedaily.com so what are the secret fears of each zodiac sign for aries it says here fear of losing people earlier it says fear of being unnoticed or um one of the biggest fear is um being unnoticed or being forgotten, right? But for this other website out here um, that I'm checking out, which is EliteDaily.com, it says here, fear of losing people. So the only thing scarier for an Aries than losing a fight is losing a friend in the process. Although they often won, oh, no, I'm sorry, although they often won't, I'm sorry, realize that until afterward because they really hate losing a fight. That's one thing. I think I would agree to this more. Um, for the other one that I just read, um, I'm just going to base it on my experience because with the Aries people that I've met, um, yeah, they hate losing people. And I think it's that control that I'm talking about earlier. You know, I'm surprised when I read that just now because um, when they lose control, they love to control. Um, and I'll be very specific with this Aries people because it's a case to case scenario. With this Aries people, um, or Aries person, rather, that I've met, this person loves to control people. Like, the Aries um, wanted to be in control or to be the leader, right? But if those people that they're trying to control no longer follows them or no longer is with them and they're like going their own way or they're actually, you know, for some reason, um, they're not actually following their 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 um, rules or whatever that is anymore or any longer. So it's kind of similar to earlier what has been said that unnoticed, right? They don't want to be unnoticed because they're losing control. So there you go. So um, it says here fear of losing people. So if you're losing those people, those friends. Um, that is something that Aries wouldn't want to happen and um yeah but i could really relate to this one like um they don't want to lose a fight they really don't they're very aggressive and then they just don't want to lose they're they're go-getters actually i'm not saying it's a negative thing it's actually a positive thing as well but it depends really on what you do but definitely what i notice about them they're actually born leaders and um and it's true whenever they lose control of something wh whether it's really people or situation or their power for it they you know just go nuts you know i i, I would agree that it's you know what that's one of the biggest fear of aries fear of losing people and i would still agree of being forgotten or being unnoticed okay so there you go. Now, let's move on to the next one because I don't want to read the entire thing. Um, but you may go visit EliteDaily.com and try to um, search for the secret fears of each zodiac sign. All right. Now, the next one would be Taurus. There are two examples here, and I'm just gonna, going to start with Elite Daily. It says here, Taurus, fear of financial instability, and that is so freaking true. 
most of the Tureans that I know, they want it to be surrounded with all the comfort that they need. It's really about security. I think I've also uh, mentioned this uh, from the previews. Um, uploads um, when I try to give you guys my input about um, what I think about each zodiac sign um, based on my experience okay and my research as well and observation so that's one definitely one thing that I notice about Taurus they're pretty much concerned um, about the comfort about the security whether that's something to do with finance or job stability you know anything to do with security and stability um, they're pretty much particular with that. So seeing this, um, definitely, you know, I would agree to it because um, the Tureans that I know um, are really very much, you know, into security. Um, whether that person is not, you know, not comfortable with losing a job or like, or like going nuts, whether what to do next, you know, um, that's actually very, very accurate for me. Now, the other, let's go back to ZodiacFire.com. It says here for Taurus, it's the fear of unexpected change. It says here, the Taurus personality craves stability. See, it matches with the other um, uh, website that we've just checked. Um, so Taurus personality craves stability, organization, and structure in their life. And as a result, they can often fear any big or disruptive changes that may be coming their way. Makes sense, right? So they're creatures of habit and can have a harder time dealing with sudden and unexpected shifts than any other zodiac signs. And as a result, it's something that they can worry about a lot. Okay. But definitely, in my experience, yeah, Taurians. It's about stability, security, okay? Um, whether it's financial thing or it's a job thing or whatever it, that is. Um, but mostly it's financial because they say that the earth signs are really good when it comes to fi finances. Um, zodiac signs like, or earth signs like um, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus, okay? So let's move on to the next zodiac sign. Okay, Gemini. It says here, fears losing their freedom or succumbing to routine. That is so freaking true. Again, this is so true. Um, the personality of the Gemini is notoriously restless, and there are independent creatures who like to always be on the move and to be experiencing new things. You know, every time... I'm reading this off right now, and the Gemini people that I know pops into my head while reading this, and it's so freaking true. As a result, they often have a big fear of becoming trapped and of losing their freedom, and they will do anything that they can't avoid falling into a boring and monotonous routine. So true. Um, they easily get bored. Um, they don't want something that is so routinary. And they're always on the move. They're always on the go. They're always pumped up, you know. And um, they're very independent, that's for sure. And the one thing which I already mentioned in my previous recording about Gemini is that it's true. Um, it's about freedom. There are three zodiac signs. Um, um, where freedom is very much important to them. Most of them are actually air signs, and we're talking about Aquarians and Gemini. So it's really about freedom. They don't want to be trapped into just one boring routine or some sort of like a rule, or, you know, they, they want it to be able to move freely. That's definitely something that is so true about Geminis and um Aquarians, and there's another one which is a fire sign, Sagittarius or Sagittarius, whatever pronunciation is the correct one. But for the Sag, definitely freedom is also important to them. So for the Gemini, yeah, that's true. They're very restless. I see a lot of Geminis. You know, they have this habit, like they always move their feet a lot. Like I, I don't know, and they're very on the go. Like they they're quick to move. You know, something like that. Like darting movements, something like that. Anyway, <laughs> let's read the other one from Zodiac, um, rather from EliteDaily.com for Geminis. It's here, it says here, rather, fear of making decisions. So Geminis change their decisions, opinions, choices, and even their promises to themselves all the time. Yep, that's true. Geminis are actually very um, fickle-minded, you know, very, very fickle-minded. Um, whatever it is that they've decided today, they can change that tomorrow. 
So they can't stick to their decision. It depends really on the situation. So it m might change. Their decision today might not be the same one for tomorrow. So they have that fear of making decisions, all right? I would also agree to that. Okay, next um, zodiac sign, because I've been talking here already for 20 minutes, and we're not really close to Scorpio yet. So I guess um, what I'll do for now, we'll start off first. I think I'm going to do a part two of this one. We'll start off first with a general thing, okay? And I'm just going to post um, a recording specifically for Scorpios. I know this is all about Scorpio, but I think it's also great to hear about other zodiac signs as well, okay? Anyway, Cancer. <laughs> Cancer, it says here to fear, it's fear of leaving home. And that is so true. It says here, Cancers are the ultimate um, agoraphobics. They like to stay in their safe zone, the place where no one can hurt them. Yep. Uh, cancers might feel safer in a zone that they're used to, but the isolation that this creates isn't good for them. Okay, they need to learn to branch out, to do the things that scare them, to go to places that are both physically and emotionally unfamiliar to them. And let's check the other one, which is um, ZodiacFire.com. For cancers, they fear rejection and that people won't like them. Cancers are well known to be sensitive souls, and because of this, they can sometimes take negative criticism and rejection to heart. As a result, they can find themselves holding back for fear that people will not like them or will judge them poorly. Um, I would agree to the first one based on my, I, I'm not sure with you guys, but in my personal experience, because most of my friends are Cancerians, because I'm also a water sign myself, um, Cancers, um, it is true what I read earlier from Elite Daily, that the fear of leaving home. I noticed that cancers, you know, my best friend who's also a cancer, um, she was always like her safe zone, her, she calls it her sacred sanctuary, her home. You know, she loves to be at home. She admits that to me. Like, she always tell, tells me that, you know what? I really don't want going out. Um, I feel more safe. I feel more comfortable whenever I'm at home. So her idea of a really good time is to spend a lot of, you know, um, relaxed time at home with her husband. That's what she does. And that's also one thing I notice with other um Cancerians out there. I, I know this one Cancerian who's married to a Scorpio too. Like, they enjoy their bonding time more at home. So I think Scorpios are like are like that as well. Um, not all Scorpios do, though, but um, most Cancerians are really like they feel safer of being at home. So they don't want the fact or one of their fears is leaving home it, it, most of the time they wanted to spend more time at home so but there are also cancerians who love to travel i know but most of the time they don't want to leave their houses you know their their idea of a good time usually happens at home for some reason either watching dvd or what but for the other one which says here about the fear of rejection and that people won't like them. I cannot comment on that one. Although it is true that cancerians are very sensitive souls. Okay, most water signs. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Leo, it says here, and this is so freaking true. I had to laugh when I read this one just now. Fears of being forgotten or ignored. <laughs> Leos can stand to be ignored and they hate to be made to feel invisible. Their worst fear is that they will fall out with or be forgotten by people that they love the most and have them disappear from their life completely. <laughs> okay, I'll comment later on. Um, oh my god, it matched. From Elite Daily, it says here, fear of being ignored as well. If there's one thing Leo won't stand for, it's walking to a room unnoticed. So it's kind of similar to Aries. So that's funny because they're both um, fire sign there. But anyway, it is so true. I don't know if you guys would agree to it, but the Leos that I know, they want it to be in the center of attention. They want it to be in the spotlight. So... What's the opposite of that? Ignore them, right? So if you ignore them, if you're, they're not the apple uh, of your eye or you're basically just, you know, treating them as if, you know, they're nothing, um, that's going to make them, you know, crazy or what. That's one of their biggest fear. So I agree to that because um, Leos, they crave for attention. 
they really crave for attention. They wanted to be in the spotlight, in the center of attention, or they crave for attention. So ignoring them is definitely something that they cannot stand. And I totally agree with that because all of the Leos that I know, um, yep, they always love the attention. And if you ignore them, it's gonna make them tick. You know, it's really gonna make them tick. Um, they're gonna be pissed about that. They don't want that. So. Um, I would agree to this one. Anyway, next sign, Virgo, because I can't spend more than 30 minutes talking about, you know, we're already at 25 minutes talking. Oh my God. Anyway, Virgo says here, fears that they won't be able to live up to their own high expectations. Oh my gosh, this is accurate. All right, Virgos can be perfectionists at times, and as a result, they can often place extremely high and sometimes even unrealistic expectations on themselves, and then stress, there you go, that's the key word there, and then stress that they will fail to then live up to those standards. Sometimes they really shouldn't be so hard on themselves because all of that worry doesn't do them any good so true i wish my sister is listening to this one right now <laughs> because i see my sister doing that so for elite daily it says here fear of imperfection so they're somewhat similar right because it's true virgos are perfectionist you know they have this criteria you know have high standards really and again about the stress they stress themselves way too much you know for that so anyway, um, yeah, sometimes that, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to read off some of the stuffs here. Um, they say as well that one of the most pessimistic signs are actually Virgos, okay? And it's, it's also because of that, you know, especially if things are not really going the way they wanted it because they have high expectations, they stress themselves too much and they think about negative things you know um yeah it says here they consciously fear external imperfection what they truly fear is their own internal imperfections okay yeah so it's fear of imperfection anyway next sign it's libra it says here fear of being alone i cannot comment on this one because there are only a few libras that i know librans that i know so uh, I'm not sure if you guys listening to this recording, if you can relate, then leave some comment down below. But it says here, Libra, one of their fears is being alone. Um, intelligent, loving, passionate people, Libras are exceptionally good romantic partners. It's hard to imagine them spending their lives alone. It's especially for them to imagine it, but they do all the time because nothing frightens them more. Libras are typically either serial monogamist or perpetually depressed. Okay, all right. So really, oh anyway, wait. Anyway, uh, um, let's try to read the other one. Biggest fear of a Libra, fears making the wrong decision. So this one is different. It says here, Libras are logical and analytical creatures to think carefully before making important life decisions. One of their biggest fears is that they will one day make a miscalculation and take a wrong turn along the way that screws up everything that they have worked so hard for. Okay, so that's it. Fear of making the wrong decision and then fear of being alone. I think, um, based on my experience, because there are only a few Librans that I know, it's the fear of being alone. You know, I think it's that. I would um, agree to that more based on my experience, okay? I'm not saying it's the right thing. Um, it's just, I'm just basing it off on my experience because there are only like three or, yeah, only three Librans in my, you know, in my circle really that I know. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's one thing I noticed is the fear of being alone. But other than that, I don't know anything much about Librans. But what I do know is that they're very much the diplomatic type, you know. Um, and uh, most of them are really quiet people, especially the male, you know, liberants, I think. So, yeah, it depends, really. Anyway, let's move on to Scorpio. Here you go, Scorpio peeps. I know it's all about Scorpio, but we're also going to cover other zodiac signs out there. So, to make it pretty much interesting and a little bit different this time. Okay, Scorpio, here we go. Let's read it off. Fear of intimacy. 
And hell yeah, that's, you know, the one thing I, you know, um, I wanted to acknowledge as well. And you will know why, okay? I'll read it off to you guys. This is from Elite Daily. It says here, Scorpios are dark, deep, complex people. You may have read that Pisces is the most sensitive sign in the zodiac, but that's because a Pisces will boldly wear their emotions under sleeve. Scorpios, I would argue, are even more sensitive than Pisces because Scorpios are too sensitive to give full expression to their feelings. <laughs> a Scorpio sensitivity is actually paralyzing. Abandonment and engulfment are the two factors that create this fear of intimacy in Scorpios. They are afraid of others eventually leaving them, or they are terrified of losing their individuality to a relationship. As a result, they tend to draw partners toward them to eventually push them away, either by engaging in extramarital affairs or through emotional withdrawal. Even being friends with a Scorpio will lead you to wonder, what did I do? Every few months. That's so true. I used to do that, actually. I used to do that, like, um, that would make other people say, what did I do? I didn't do anything wrong. And so, you know, a couple of people um, who who's brave enough to approach me and ask me, what did I do to you? It seems like you've been cold. And it was like, um, nothing really, you know, even though I know that the person didn't really do anything at all. But, um, yeah, there are times, but I don't do that often. I used to do that before, and it came out so naturally, like, um, or it depends. There are times that I just want to be alone, right? It doesn't necessarily mean that I, I don't want to be intimate with anyone. But there are times I just wanted to recharge myself. Like I wanted to think and um, to reflect even more. That's why I try to kind of like isolate myself a little bit. Um, for like give myself some space a little bit we actually try to or we tend to crave space you know that's the one true fact about Scorpios okay but um, what it's being you know talked about here is the intimacy of actually trying to give away um, I think it's the fear of Scorpios to show their innermost feelings something like that and it's also because um giving in it's like giving in to other people everything giving in in terms of your secrets or your weaknesses or sharing that to your partner is something quite scary for scorpios to do like they're pretty much scared to do that i don't know you can correct me if i'm wrong but um as a scorpio i think um I think we're pretty much just scared of doing that because um, either we're because we're we're showing a vulnerable side, okay? Uh, it's about vulnerability, and another thing, it's because of betrayal, and that's the one thing that you know um, I have to smile about because I would agree to it definitely. So it says here. Let's move on to ZodiacFire.com. It says here, Scorpio's biggest fear, it's betrayal. And definitely, I would agree to that, you know? Scorpios, it says here, take abuses of trust very personally. Again, the most important thing for Scorpios, it's trust, okay? So they take abuses of trust for very personally. And one of their biggest fears is being betrayed by someone that they are close to. They have an extremely hard time regaining trust with someone. And once it is broken, and they aren't the type to just forgive and forget so easily. And that's me. That's me. I would, you know, I would be... It's not that I'm too proud to <laughs> to admit to that, but yeah, and most of the Scorpios I know are actually like that too, right? Um, it's hard for Scorpios to forgive and forget um, and to regain the same kind of trust because we have this belief that once uh, a person uh, did something like that, there is a possibility, a huge possibility that they're going to do it again, right? So, and um, the fact that the Scorpio actually gave you their trust and they gave you that chance to be part of their circle and you try to break that trust, it's going to be really hard to regain that. I mean, you know, they've already invested on, you know, or gave you the opportunity to, opportunity, um, um, 
to be inside their circle, which means the Scorpio gave you their trust and their loyalty and all that crap, okay? But then if you're going to break that by betraying them or doing some things that are totally, um, you know, totally wrong, let's say there are different types of betrayal, whether you betray them by actually cheating, having an extramarital affair, something like that, or betrayal of trust um, in terms of you guys are friends and you did something that actually crossed um, the rules or whatever. It did happen to me. You know, I've had in my 36 years of experience, um, I've had people, you know, did all of those stuff to me. And it's true. Um, that's one thing that I do not like, you know, it's because trust is very important for me. So I had experiences in the past where I've treated this, you know, person as a real friend, true friend, and I've been loyal to this person. But then again, that person would actually eventually show their true colors and um, eventually try to betray you and do some things that are, you know, that you never expected because you gave her trust and all that. And it's really painful. And um, it's something that Scorpios, um, that's the number one thing on their list that you shouldn't do to them. Never, never cheat on them or never betray that trust that they gave you because it's going to be hard to bring it back, okay? And it's funny because that person is also a Scorpio, you know? That's the ironic thing. The one who actually betrayed me is also a fellow Scorpio. And I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I was, you know, you know, betrayed by a fellow Scorpio there. Anyway, it's been 36 minutes of talking. We're down to how many more zodiac signs. So, yeah, I'm going to do a part two of this. But, yeah, we'll focus more on Scorpios on the next recording. And then again, please um, let me know what other topics that you would like to suggest to talk about Scorpios. All right. Anyway, let's move on to Sag. For Sag, it says here, fears of losing their freedom. There you go. That's what I mentioned earlier, you know, right? Because that's the one thing that's so true about Sag. And I told you, um, for air signs, it's Gemini and Aquarians, right? They love freedom so much, as much as Sag. Okay. So it says here, the Sagittarius or Sagittarius prides themselves on their independence. And they need to be able to act freely in order to be happy. That's so true. Their worst fear is being boxed in <laughs> or trapped into a lifestyle where they have no say over how their life is run. And they'll often go to great lengths to avoid this. I'll share something real quick. And I think I've already mentioned this in the previous recording. But yeah, let's try to read EliteDaily.com about Sag first. It says here, fear of enclosed spaces. Okay. So it's more of like... Um, on this one, basically, I'm not going to read the entire thing, but fear of enclosed spaces in terms of, um, especially, we're talking literally about being claustrophobic or something like that. But yeah, it says here, a degree of claustrophobia. Um, you're afraid of actual confined spaces, okay? But I would agree more to um, the freedom thing, because I've mentioned that earlier as well in the uh, earlier part. Um, one of my friends is a Sag, and she is actually, you know, she doesn't like rules or being boxed into, you know, a rule like you can't go to this place or you, you should be home by this time. You should be here at around this time. You know, she breaks a lot of rules because she doesn't want that. You know, my friend Darcy, <laughs> Darcy, um, she she doesn't want to um, be confined um, in just one space or um, that she can't do the things that she wanted. You know, if there's one fear for Sag, it's that um, not to be able to do the things that they want. You know, they always crave for freedom. And um there's this also one guy, um, one of my coworkers in the past, who's also a Sag. Um, he's being asked to stay at this time, at this period of time, and he was freaking out. I mean, he was really, really freaking out. It was like, no, I'm not going to do that. You don't tell me what time I should go home or, you know, things like that. Because there was like a, an activity and he was being asked to actually stay for this period of time, this long. And it was like freaking out. And he said, no, I'm not going to do that. You can't do that to me. And um, 
you know, that's the one thing. And seeing, you know, this, it really is so crazy. I was so, you know, I'm so amazed by it because it's so true. Anyway, let's move on to Capricorn. Capricorn says here, fear of failure. Okay, and it's true. Most of the Capricorns that I know, they're workaholics because it says here, Capricorns happen to be very business-minded people. Yep, they're workaholics, which is pretty much the best kind of addiction. That's true. A lot of Capricorns are very much, you know, hardworking. That's so true. And they're really good when, in terms of money as well. Some call them stingy, by the way. <laughs> but the shadow side of their ability to climb the ladder to success is a deeply embedded fear of failure. This fear is also what sets their slow and steady pace in everything that they do. Okay, so it's fear of failure. All right, what's the other one? It says here, Capricorn. Oh, it's the same stuff, okay? Fears failure and that they won't achieve their dreams. The Capricorn personality is one that is constantly striving towards success and have high expectations for what they want to do and accomplish in life. One of their biggest fears is that they will fail to make that type of impact in the world that they hope to make. All right. Okay, now let's move on to Aquarius. Aquarius fears losing their individuality or having to compromise their character. Interesting. Okay. It says here Aquarius likes to do things their way. Oh, really? And they fear that one day they will have to compromise on their values or conform to society in a way that they simply do not want. They value their independence greatly and can stand it when people try to enforce their own rules and values upon them. That would, I would agree, right? Just like earlier when I mentioned about um, the, the, the thing that Sag, Geminis, and Aquarius shares a lot, you know, the common denominator there is the fear of the freedom thing. Aquarians, they love freedom as well. And they don't want to be actually confined as well, or not really confined, but they value independence. They wanted to be doing things their own way, not, uh, you know, not other people trying to tell them what to do. So they have their own rules, basically. Um, so it's kind of kind of like that. Quite similar, but yeah, uh, kind of like that. Um, let's try the other one. It says here, uh, Aquarius, um, yeah, pretty much the same. Fear of institutionalization. So they don't want that kind of any kind. They try to avoid, avoid any kind of intellectual entrapment. So it says here, right? They're a lot, a lot like Sagittarius in this respect, except that their claustrophobia is directed at institutions. There you go, like corporate work, school, hospitals, or marriage. Leave an Aquarius to make up their own minds or leave them alone. They're probably much happier that way. Okay, just one real quick comment. Um, there's this Aquarian leader that I know. Um, he is actually a good, you know, a good leader. And I notice, you know, he's alone most of the time. I'm not saying that um, Aquarius are loners. Actually, they're social butterflies. But, you know, I notice that when he's really serious um, when it comes to work and problem solving, Aquarians are really good when it comes to problem solving. You know, that's the one thing I like about Aquarians as well. They have this original mind, this creativity. That's the one thing I like about Aquarians. And um, I notice that there's this one um, thing about um, this Aquarian leader. I'm not going to, you know, share the name because, you know, for privacy, but he is actually a great leader, good at problem solving. And the one thing is that there's this other leader who's actually, um, they're not of equal, um, what do you call this, position. In fact, that other person who's a Leo, though, Leos are very dominant, right? They're very aggressive. They're very dominant. They wanted to be in control as well. Uh, as well, and he's that Leo person is trying to dominate that Aquarian person, and they clashed. I mean, I know that they did without really, you know, being too obvious about that, because um, again, Aquarians wanted to do it their way, and unfortunately for that um, Leo person um, this Aquarian is, is of higher position than the Leo person so he used that probably and um, and um, you know he, he actually tried to set up the rules himself like I'm not gonna follow the things that you wanted me to do um, I'm, I'm just gonna do what it what, what it is that I think would work or 
you know, what's right. So, yeah, just, you know, a, a quick story about that because I just noticed that there is um, some truth uh, in this about what I just read here. Anyway, we're down to the last zodiac sign finally, and I think we've been talking here for 44 minutes already. I'm trying to be pretty much particular, um, okay, in terms of time. Anyway, Pisces, fear of responsibility. Really? I didn't know that. Okay. The Peter Pants of the Zodiac, Pisces live in a fantasy world where they just don't want to grow up. Aw. Not that they could, even if they didn't want to. They are a study in contrast. They're somehow full of wisdom of the ages without an ounce of true maturity. Um, okay, so they don't like responsibility? Is that it? Um, Pisces were given the gift of unending creativity, which is true. Yeah, that's true. And with that comes a total incapacity to deal with day-to-day -day life. This is why so many Pisces turn to drugs and alcohol woo, to effectively turn off the nagging responsibilities of the outside world. And most of them only reach maturity with the help of a 12-step program. Is that true? My brother is a Piscean. I don't know. But I don't know. Anyway, let's check the other one. And this will be the last one before I wrap this up. Fierce rejection and loneliness. I think I would agree to this more, even more. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to use my brother as an example for personal experience. Pisces have a lot of love to give. And when they commit to a relationship, they do so will all of their heart. One of their biggest fears, however, is that they won't be able to find someone that will be able to reciprocate all of that love. They sometimes suffer from low self-esteem, leading them to doubt their odds of finding their perfect match. So I guess I would agree to that even more, you know, I think so. Okay. Anyway, that's about it. Um, I'm sorry. Um, it's, this is one of the longest, I think, one of the longest audio recording. And I'm sorry, I'm going to do a part two, which is um, we're going to talk more about the Scorpio fear. But um, it's really interesting to know more about the fears of other zodiac signs as well, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm reading off some comments here from, from people who actually read the same article from zodiacfire.com. Um, it says here, true, it's really true about Pisces, Virgo, very true. Scorpio says so, very true. Very true about Pisces. Seems very accurate for all the signs. Mine is definitely right, and I'm a Leo. There you go, <laughs> see? Very true about Capricorn. So most of them are really, you know, they do agree. Very true for, for Scorpio. Okay, great. Great to hear that. Yeah. All right. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. And um, I'm going to um, post another recording. Um, and we're going to focus entirely on Scorpio fears. But again, it is true about Scorpio. One of the biggest fears of Scorpio, uh, betrayal. Losing that trust. Betrayal. It is so true. Ask all of the Scorpios out there. And Josh. Joshua Mosley, who helped me out, tapping me and reminding me to, <laughs> uh, reminding me to actually um, do a Scorpio video out there. You're a Scorpio too, my, my man, so um, I guess you would also agree to that one. Anyway, so if you have any suggestions, anything that you would like to um, talk about, let us know, all right? I'll see you in the next um, audio recording, and uh, it'll be up pretty much soon and we're going to talk about Scorpio um, fears on the next upload okay but for now I gotta go bye